Fantastic. Because this is the first time in three years that we've been able to bring down crime rates. That's what the right in three years. First time, it's never gone down. This is the first time, and the overall crime has gone down by 16 percent, mm -hmm. and street crime has gone down by 38 percent. That's actually very very good, yeah. and you know the the police they did a fantastic job. You know we mobilized the police as I mentioned just now. Huh? 14,222 police were mobilized into the 50 hotspots. Mm -hmm. The four states that we will focus okay. on, Slango, Federal Territory, Johor, and Penang. Mm -hmm. And all the activities that we did to mobilize the police into the hotspots also happened in Penang. Crime rate is not zero. The numbers we have from beginning of this year up to now, 157,000 incidents. So it's not zero. No? Yeah. For every cousin that's robbed, there's 156,000 others that are robbed. But the number has dropped from by 16% for the same period last year. So the zero, the zero crime only exists in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> so now, the issue here is that TNS is an independent research company. We have commissioned them to do a survey on public perception. The good news is the survey that was conducted by TNA showed clearly that public perception is now positive. They're now beginning to feel the word about fear of failure, a fear of crime, fear of crime. Mm -hmm. So that has now dropped. So the fear of crime is dropped amongst the population. But you're right, but it, it will take time before the full public perception, there's always a lag time lag between the, the drop in, in corruption uh, in, in, in crime to the full public perception it will take some time but I would say today that I'm very happy with that progress so far as I said a lot of CCTVs we've installed 496 CCTVs already installed we rank every Balai police the 753 Balai police rank and I mentioned the number of police we redeployed 7,091, you know, from the, uh, the police that were trained as police but used as clerks. We took them from being clerks and put them into the street. Uh, to add in, uh, that's how we managed to get 14,222. This is a massive redeployment. You know, when we first started, there were people, there were skeptics. There were people that said maybe the way to do crime reduction is to send everybody for training. And uh, we kind of felt that the approach, it's better that we will focus on redeployment to the hotspots because we felt that was the way to do it. I think the uh, people must look at the facts. The facts are very clear. When the facts are clear that, that we are successful in what we're doing, we need to recognize the facts. And the facts must speak for themselves, the results. As I said before, the GTP without doubt, urban, urban public ridership, you saw the numbers. Uh, rural basic infrastructure record. This is the first time in Malaysia our preschool classes was the first time, the biggest we've ever had. The longest kilometer road for rural is this year is the, the biggest. 666 kilometers of rural roads. The civil servants, they, they need to be uploaded too because these are the work of our civil servants. I always tell people when the civil servants do a good job, we should recognize that they have done a good job. The area we have not achieved is on the transparency international, uh, what you call the corruption perception index. And our the score is lower, but the good news is from the same organization, the Transparency International Corruption Barometer, we have achieved. So on the same score, so on the same company that did two different studies, one big improvement. Last year, 28% of the Malaysian believe that the government's effort in corruption is effective. This year, 48% are now saying the government's corruption efforts are effective. Two things we have to do. La. When we look at all our schools today, even within the same curriculum, without changing, you have the best schools, you have the worst school. That means the best student can come up from the same curriculum. The worst student can come up from the same curriculum. So even if you change the curriculum, you will also have the best students and the worst students from that changed curriculum. Now, 
obviously a lot of people were saying that perhaps we need to modify the curriculum so that it has a greater balance between academia and extracurricular activities. In fact, our own assessment of the schools, eh, you notice when we grade the schools, 70% of the weighting for the grading is from the academic qualification of the students, 30% of the grading for the school is on the extracurricular activity. So we're putting that kind of a balance. Now. So we really began the shift. So if we say the school is high performing school, it is band one, and that's on the basis of the grades of the students, 70%, 30% on extracurricular activities. Our program today is that if we work on what, as I said today, all the program under urban public transport, GTP, eh, we will be able to achieve ridership of 25% by 2012. December 2012, that's our target. But from then on, it's going to be very difficult. But so our target is if we produce and put the MRT, the MRT will help us to jump into 50% by the year 2020 and even beyond. Lah. If the capacity will do, do that. So what we have to do and stay focused, eh, we do the short term and medium term going forward. I forgot to mention uh, actually buses. The bus stops. Complaint from the riot is we don't have proper bus stops. That's why we have now refurbished the numbers that I had just now, the number of bus stops. We have now refurbished them, new roof, etc. The numbers are all there. In fact, uh, next year we'll do more of that. The bus terminal also. We have a new bus terminal. So all of these things we have focus on. Lah. The Bandar Tasik Satan Selatan terminal, bus terminal, will be going live in January next year. It's very, very good. I cannot talk about election. <laughs> I, only, I only talk about what we promise. And uh, what we promise and what we, we work towards delivering that because that's what a riot. So I am not a politician. So you think the promise has been Oh, more than delivered. I told you the facts already. The facts are very clear, more than delivered. And in our annual report, we will go blow by blow. Blow by blow. What specific. Very specific. Lah. specific yeah. uh, so that means if you look at our GTP and uh, return a specific example, lah. the target for this year on overall crime, reduction by 5%. 5%, eh? that's the target. What did we achieve? 16%. Uh, for street crime, the target is 20% reduction. What did we achieve? 38%. That's what I mean blow by blow. Lah. Very specific. And so urban public transport, the target is 13% ridership. So we are finalizing that and we will announce the, the, the achievement. Lah. But it is more than 13, I can tell you this.